Hello. Hello. Hi, can you hear me? Yes, teacher, I can hear you. Excellent, thank yes, you. Teacher. How are you doing today? I'm fine. Good. Pretty good. How is the weather? So hot. It is hot here too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And the rest of you, how are you doing? You don't want to speak today? You don't want to talk. Okay, so uh, before the classes, I sent a presentation because um, I think it is important to continue practicing uh, speaking with the frequency adverbs. Yesterday we were uh, practicing, I know, and I, I, I got into some groups. I know that when we are speaking, it's kind of difficult, uh, mainly because sometimes you're first thinking in Spanish and then you think in English, and uh, we have to avoid doing that because that is not good for you. That makes you to get confused. So I want you to continue practicing and I have a, a review. Who is one, two, three, four, five? Remember that you have to enter or you have to join the section with your name. Okay, so try to change the name in your device. Tienen que entrar con su, mm, al dispositivo con el que usted se conecte tiene que ponerle su nombre porque ya nos están reportando que ya hay ciertas dificultades, ¿verdad? Para identificar eh, la persona si estuvo en clases o no. Porque si ustedes entran con su teléfono y no le cambian el nombre al teléfono, dice Huawei, entonces no hay manera de saber quién es la persona que se conectó a la clase. Y otra cosa importante, si al momento que ustedes abren la aplicación de Zoom, eh, les pide actualizar, háganlo, porque me estaban comentando de que hay algunas personas que no, no les está registrando el tiempo completo, sale menos. So, um, that's before the class. Now, I'm going to share my screen with the presentation that I sent before the class. We're going to be practicing with that. Okay, it's this one. Okay. Okay, so I have the presentation here. And <clears throat> as you can see, it talks about the frequency adverse or adverse of frequency, which is the same. And this is going to be a review about the topic. Before we wrap up the topic, I want to make this review for you. Remember that the first thing is, well, the, the order that we need to follow, it is the structure. Um, first, we're going to start with the adverse of frequency, the ones that we called, mm -hmm. how do we call those like always, usually, sometimes, hardly ever, never? We said they are indefinite, right? For those indefinite. indefinite, yes, we have um, two different uh, structures. We're going to start practicing with this one. Remember that uh, for sentence, uh, first thing we have the subject, then the adverb, 
it can be some of this one. We know that there are more. Those are just examples. So we have subject, adverb. Then we have to mention the action or the verb. And finally, the complement. Here I have a couple of examples so you can identify how the structure is followed. So we have subject, I, adverb, never, verb, watch, complement, horror movies after midnight. I never watch horror movies after midnight. Then we have another example, subject, my sister, adverb, always, verb, visit. Uh, like in this case, we want to mention the object to visit me, and then the complement on weekends. You see how the structure is followed. Is this clear? Yes, there is teacher. Okay, yes, just remember that we just use one adjective at the time. Solo vamos a poner un adverb, verdad, en una oración. And don't combine them. Okay, then we what have... Don't com ¿Qué dijo? Don't combine them. No los combinen. No vamos a poner dos, ni vamos a combinar de los indefinite. The combine is the verb. Combine. Ajá, uh -huh, combinar. Don't combine them. Don't put them together. Okay. This <laughs> one. The one that you need or the one that suits better, but only one at a time. Okay. Now, okay. to practice this structure, we're going to continue with this speaking, right? So we have these questions. And let's repeat, and then you let me know if you need uh, assistance with any of these words. All right, let us repeat. What kind of movies do you never watch? What, what kind of movies do you never watch? Never watch? Why? What do you what sometimes like eat for breakfast? What, what do you sometimes eat for breakfast? Are you always tired in the morning? Are you always tired in the morning? Are you always tired in the evening? Are you always tired in the evening? What do you often do on the weekend? What do you often do on the weekend? What kind of food do you readily eat? What, what kind of food do, do, do you readily eat? What things do you seldom drink? What, what things, things do you seldom, 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 drink? seldom drink? What time do you usually get up in the morning? What, what time, time do you usually get up, get up in the morning? In the morning? What time do you usually go to bed at night? What, what time, time do you usually go to bed at night? What do you hardly ever watch on TV? What, what do you hardly ever watch, watch on TV? TV? Okay, questions? Seldom. What is it? All right, seldom is like raras veces. Okay, okay, thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, to continue the conversation, you can ask why or why not, yeah? To okay. talk a little bit more, to get a little bit more details, you can ask why or why not. Um, in some cases, not all the questions, like, um, let's see, uh, Evelyn Cubias, what kind of movies do you never watch? I never watch, uh, for example, movies. The horrific. Uh, ah, yeah. horror movies. Horror yes. movies. Why? Because I I have how do you say meal? <laughs> okay, you can say uh, you you got fear or you got nightmares. I got nightmares. Mm. Well, uh, because um, then I, I, I feel like scared. So she, she, she asusta, yeah. I, I, I got scared. Or okay. puede ser que le provoquen pesadillas, nightmares. In my case, 
Okay. It, it because yeah. of that. I got nightmare at night. <laughs> okay. So, good. Uh, you can ask the question and then ask why or why not in order to get more details. In in that way, we're going to practice speaking too. Uh, so, you have those questions in the presentation. So, I'm going to create a section group so you practice. You can ask any of these questions. Okay. Okay. I'm going to create the breakout room. Let's get in groups and practice. Cada una pregunta, cada uno. Todos digamos la misma pregunta. Respondamos la misma pregunta. Ok, bueno, comienzo. Eh, what kind of movie do you never watch? Eh, I never watch a eh, movie or, or princess or anime because I don't like. Ok. What uh, do you sometimes eat for breakfast? Mm. Uh, I eat sometimes chicken soap. Oh. Okay. Are mm. you always... I sometimes yes. eat. I sometimes ah. eat. Okay, perfect. Thank you, teacher. Uh, are you always tired in the morning? Uh, Jose or Candida, escucha. Okay. Oh. Perdón, you... este, ¿qué quiere decir tired? What's the meaning? Yeah, cansado or cansada. That's it. Uh, okay. <laughs> Why not always study in the morning? Who asked the question? Can you solve a pregunta? Me, teacher. A quien? Uh, Diego. Okay, Diego. Are you always tired in the morning? Um, Sometimes in because and I I do I doing the the chores in the morning. Okay, good. Continue, Diego. Ask another classmate. Uh, are you always tired in the evening? Why? Why not? 
Manuel. Uh, I never, I never tires in the evening. Uh, I drink and the coffee in my feeling. Okay. What did you often often do on the weekend, Manuel? Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The next. Jorge, uh, what do you sometimes eat for breakfast? What do you, what can you repeat? What do you sometimes eat for breakfast? Uh, sometimes, I don't know, for example, sometimes I eat cereal or eggs. Okay. Like omelette, for example. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. okay. That's good. Next question. Tercera, uh, are you always tired in the morning? Maria Susana? Oh, okay. Uh, no. I am not Why? tired. Oh, okay. Um, because Why I not? sleep very well okay. and I wake up uh, very early. Um, I woke up um, very well. Don't have, don't feel tired in the morning. I feel fresh. <laughs> Maybe can I say that? Uh, and wake up uh, happy to a new day. Okay. Okay. In my in my case. Uh, <laughs> uh, Yes, uh, uh, sometimes some uh, some morning I uh, amanezco. ¿Cómo uh, sería? Amanezco cansado. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice, teacher? Amanezco. I feel. Oh, well, I feel I feel tired because uh, I am going to sleep. Uh, very very night, uh, for example, uh, 12 or 1 a.m. It's too late, <laughs> yes, yeah. it's, it's too late. Uh, Why do you go to bed too late? Ah, uh, study and working. Oh, you study yes. and work, okay. This what do you study, Parn? Excuse me. What do you study? Ah, uh, um, I study on um, postgrado. Um, postgrado? Wow. Postgrado. Uh, really good. Yeah, postgrado uh, on learning, no, uh, enseñanza, enseñanza? Teaching. Uh, teaching, uh, university, in university teaching. Teaching. Okay. Mm. Postgrado oh, wow. in university, university teaching. Uh, That's excellent. Uh, mm -hmm. That's right. Only. You're a professor. Really good. Are you a professor? Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> okay, nice. Yes, I am. Okay. okay. Great. Next person. Okay, in my case, I never wake up tired because I sleep a lot. <laughs> what time do you That's get good. Up? That's good. <laughs> in my case, okay. uh, sometimes I go to sleep some late because uh, sometimes I have homework or, for example, today I have a uh, teacher, how can I say, tarea, but but about my work assignments okay today for assignments. example i have oh, assignments so assignments assignment okay okay i have an assignment and i need to okay. send a, a document at about 10 p.m or 11 p.m so okay. but not always uh, i go to sleep too late just sometimes it was that Okay. Yes. 
Okay. The next question. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you often do on the weekend? What do you often do? Oh, Me okay. or who? The order, the order, uh, Jorge is uh, uh, Maria, Oscar, Ismael, and finally Jorge. Okay. Okay, Maria. <clears throat> you're right. you're right. um, I almost don't understand that question. Which one? Uh, what do you do often do on the weekend? ¿Qué, ¿Qué es algo que usted hace con frecuencia mm -hmm. los fines oh. de semana? Okay. okay. For example, I often I often go um, mm. I often go to shop for groceries at the supermarket. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, in my weekends, I often uh, stay with my family because I work all week. Um, and I take a very very rest the weekend. I cook especially food to my family. And I spend often um, in my house. Okay. Okay, in my case, uh, in my weekends, uh, often we take, we take a trip with my family. Um, like uh, uh, the beach, uh, the beach. Or, or Ruta de las Flores, uh, for example, we like uh, the heart, we like uh, travel. Do you like my to family. travel? I like to travel or we like to travel? Uh, I, like with, I like to travel in my country. Yes. That's all. Amazing. Continue. Okay, I often visited my grandmother. Other times, visited my girlfriend. And, and normally, I, I am in my house. Okay. Jorge okay. Alberto. Okay, uh, <clears throat> for example, not always, but sometimes uh, on my weekends, I often see movies or series in Netflix with my girlfriend. Mm -hmm. For okay. example, at about uh, two weekends ago, uh, we ended to watch uh, uh, Captain Captain America and the Winter Soldier. That's a good movie. I often know. Yes. Okay, very good. Okay, um, vamos con la otra. What kind, what kinds of food do you really eat? What, what kind of food do you really eat? Mm, I don't remember any food really. Mm, I really don't know what. Se refiere a una comida rara, verdad? Yeah, like uh, pollo and chicha, for example. Uh, yes. Maybe yes. Or never eat that. Uh, that question. Uh, <laughs> Something orders? that you rarely eat, uh, like uh, for example, I rarely eat fast food. Okay. Okay. That question means, uh, ¿qué tipo de comida comes eh, raramente o rara qué rara vez comes? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. ¿Qué es lo uh -huh. que rara vez come? ¿Qué tipo de vida? Uh, de, uh -huh. Perdón. ¿Qué tipo de comida <laughs> rara vez come? <laughs> Perdón, ay, no soy yo. Siento que me voy a enfermar. Oh. Algo que raro. Sorry, teacher. Como. Don't worry. Yo creo que es una gripe. Pero ojalá que sí. Mm. 
Okay, so it's on a tipo de comida que rara vez coma. Uh, in my case, in my... I rarely eat fast food or junk okay. food. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. In my case, I uh, rarely eat a uh, hamburger, um, and like fast food, but like you say, and um, just that. Okay. Uh, good. In my case, I rarely eat um, gallo and chicha. <laughs> For example, <laughs> I like this, but uh, rarely eat uh, gallo and chicha. Is uh, that like something other... that you eat on a special occasion? I know that some people. Yo creo que se le están tojando el gallo que cantan por ahí. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> I think that some people eat gallo and chicha for Christmas. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Yeah, some people eat that for a special occasion. Ah, uh, okay. But it's good, but it, the, the, it's good. Uh, it's uh, dulce, um, sweet? No. It's sweet. Dulce? Uh -huh. It's sweet. Okay. It's sweet. It's, it's very rich. Okay. Excuse me, Jorge. <laughs> don't worry. Uh, I don't know. I rarely eat, I don't know, for example, fast food too, hamburgers. Or, mm -hmm. or ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Okay. What okay. about seafood? Seafood too. I rarely eat seafood, for example. I sometimes eat fish, but not always. And rarely I eat. Uh, how can I say? Uh, camarones. Shrimp. Shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. What? Shrimp. Shrimp. Uh huh. Shrimp. 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 <coughs> okay. And that's all. Okay. The next question. Ah, oh, uh, ten seconds. Very good teams. <laughs> really good partners. See you in the other group. See you. Por ahí les escribí camarones, shrimp. <laughs> Ese estaba en un grupo. Y Thanks, teacher. A ver cómo era camarones. That shrimp. Okay, so I stayed in, in uh, some group and you did a very, very nice oh. job. You were, um, los, le, los escuchaba como a medida que iba pasando el tiempo un poco más confiados. And that's the idea of practicing the speaking. And so uh, that's what I want you to do more. I want you to practice more speaking. I could go over the topics and solve the exercises with you, but I think that is something that you can do by yourself, right? I like you to take advantage of this time by practicing the speaking and you're doing it well. Okay, so we're going to continue with the presentation. And uh, we were here. Uh, Evelyn, Liliana. Sí, coach. Eh, yo quería preguntarle que cómo se dice, digamos, nosotros en español decimos tengo el baño y, y eso cómo se dice. En, uh, en can you repeat it? Uh, you're breaking off. Le escuché como cortado. En, en, en español decimos tengo ganas de ir al baño. Y eso en inglés, ¿cómo sería? I need to go to the restroom or I need to go to the bus. I need to go to the bus. Okay, mm -hmm. thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, as we were saying before, um, yes. Como estábamos diciendo, la estructura con estos, cuando es un verbo que no sea hacer o estar, es, es un poquito diferente, ¿verdad? When the verb is to be, cuando vamos a hablar de ser o estar, la estructura cambia. Vamos a escribir primero el sujeto o a mencionar primero el sujeto. Luego el verbo be, am, is, are. And then, algunas veces puede um, que tengamos adjectives, por eso lo puse en paréntesis. 
Para la estructura normal es subject, verb, be, adverb. Algunas veces puede ir un adjective. And the complement. Not always. In the first one, I place an adjective. So you see, subject, Mary. Verb, be, is. Adverb, never. Adjective, busy. And complement for her kids. Mary is never busy for her kids. Now, uh, let's see. In this example, I don't have adjectives. I just follow. Subject, Nick. Verb B is adverb always. Complement on time for his classes. Next example. Subject, my friends. Verb B, are. Adverb, always. Complement. There for me. De esa es, es la estructura que pueden ver si van a utilizar el verbo ser o estar. Pueden verla así como está. Subject, verb, adverb, algunas veces adjective plus complement o solamente subject, verb, adverb, and complement. Uh, questions here? Yes, I have a question. Yes, Roberto. Uh, in this case, uh, no uh, can can contraction with subject and verb to be. Yes, you can make it short. Yes, you can use contractions uh, with subject and verb be. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's possible. I have a question, teacher. Yes, Joaquin. Uh, Can we use the um, contracted form in, in? Yes, you can contract the subject and the verb. Okay. Okay. But not Thank in you. all cases. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. May I, teacher? Mm hmm. Eh, eh, no tiene nada que ver con el, con el tema de ahorita, pero este, I was working at the platform and there was a, a little problem when I was eh, hearing the, the recording, you know, and say, it says that Jason has been on vacations and when, when Barbara says, where did you go? And he said, I went to San Francisco. Well, eh, in the answers, eh, no, me, no me toma la, la, esa, esa respuesta. Y la respuesta es, he went to San Francisco. Porque la, because the, the, questions, the question says, where did, uh, did Jason go? So, eh, he went to San Francisco. Eh, y no me lo toma bueno. A mí tampoco, teacher. Yo estuve trabajando en eso y no he podido avanzar porque siempre sale mal. Okay, so um, if you have that the number of the exercise handy, we're going to check it after we finish this uh, review. When we finish the review, give me the number of the exercise and we're going to check it together. Okay, thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Uh, would you like to provide me with examples using this structure? Any volunteer? Mm, me coach. Okay. Uh, 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 Mary is never busy for her kids. 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 Mm -hmm. Can you give me uh, another example? Uh, another example. Okay. Uh, Liliana is usually go to the. Liliana is usually goes to. Then you have to use um, an adverb of an adjective after the adverb. No. Por eso dije Liliana is usually a high mistake. And the compliment? No. Liliana is usually 
Liliana is usually busy, busy the beauty salon. <laughs> the beauty salon, excellent. That's an excellent example. Liliana is usually busy at the hair salon. Good. Anybody else who wants to participate? May I? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Carlos is never early uh, to his class. Excellent example. Any other volunteer? Me, teacher. Okay, Roberto. Uh, for example, uh, my friends are always on time for our soccer matches. Excellent. Very well done. Me? Another example? Yes. Me. Robert is usually work at night. Is usually uh, work working at night. Okay, very good. Is working at night. Good. Any other example? Me, Okay, go ahead, Robert. Uh, for example, God is, God is always there. I don't know if it's your internet or mine, but you're breaking off. I, I couldn't get it. God is always there. Ah, okay, good. Excellent. Any other volunteer? Okay, Oscar. Oscar okay. is frequent, frequently uh, take a water or take a glass of water. Oscar okay. is frequent, frequently take uh, a water. Taking or drinking a, a glass of drinking, water. Drinking glass of water. Uh -huh. okay. In this case, en este caso, si vamos a usar, okay. aparte del verbo ser o estar, otro verbo okay. adicionalmente, a este verbo le vamos a poner ing. Ok. Uh -huh. That's good. Ok. Oscar Excellent. Is, Oscar is frequently, frequently uh, drinking glass of water. Excellent job. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. That's why it is important that you participate. Ven, eso es muy importante que ustedes participen porque yo les expliqué la estructura uh -huh. así pegadita, ¿verdad? Pero ya viene alguien y me dice otro ejemplo con otro verbo adicional al verbo be. Entonces ahí recordamos que no podemos tener dos verbos en presente simple en la misma oración, ¿verdad? Sino que uh -huh. el otro tiene que llevar ahí en G. Or in the present continuous. Excellent job. Thank you so much. Any other volunteer? Entonces, teacher, um, estaría bien decir, my sister is always looking at her phone. Excellent. Excellent yeah. job. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> okay, good. My teacher? Yes? Go ahead. He has never done his homework. Excellent. Excellent job. Any other volunteer or we move? Me. Okay. Uh, Adriana is always busy. Busy, busy. in her class. Busy in her class. Excellent. Very nice example. Miss. Okay. Eh, Puedes poner el, el ejemplo anterior. Ajá. Entonces, y busy no es verbo. Es un o sea, adjetivo. Ajá. Acuérdense que los verbos son acciones y aquí el verbo es estar y el, el, el adjetivo es ocupado, ocupada. Ah, ya, lo está haciendo, pero ¿verdad que también es verbo o no? Solo adjetivo. Es solo adjetivo. Ah, ah ok. Vamos a ver okay. más ejemplos que los adjetivos, acuérdense que describen algo, ¿verdad? Eh, puede ser que otro adjetivo happy 
Mm-hmm. So you can say um, uh, the students are always happy to participate. Okay, the students are always happy to participate. The adjective is happy. El, el adjetivo es algo que nos sirve para describir. En este caso estoy describiendo su estado de ánimo, ¿verdad? Feliz. Uh, yeah. So they are happy. They are not action. Eso no es una acción. Uh, es, los adjetivos de, nos ayudan a describir. Uh, Entonces, eh, estas oraciones que estamos haciendo son con eh, adverbios de frecuencia, pero utilizando el be. Ajá, como les explicaba al principio, en, vamos a movernos otra vez al slide. Tenemos dos formas de hacerlo. La primera, como les explicaba, son cuando usamos un verbo que no sea to be, que no sea ser o estar. Cuando usamos un verbo que no es ser o estar, la estructura usualmente es sujeto, adverbio, verbo y complemento. Okay, desde sujeto, adverbio y verbo. Cuando es el verbo be, cambia la estructura. Primero va sujeto, luego ver be y después el adverbio. Uh -huh. uh -huh. Eso es solo en caso que utilicemos ser o estar. Entonces, con estos quedamos que son dos estructuras, ¿verdad? Una con cualquier verbo y otra cuando usamos el verbo to be. Eso es con los... Um, con este tipo de adverbs que dijimos que son los indefinidos, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo, always, usually, frequently, rarely, seldom, never y almost never. Con los definite, los que son definidos, o sea, más exactos, la estructura cambia. Usualmente van al final de la oración. Subject, verb, complement, and adverb. Check the examples. I go to the gym every day. I take a shower three times a day. I text my special someone every 20 minutes. That sounds a little toxic, but it's just an example. Any question here? No. Richard, yo tengo una pregunta, pero con dos significados. Eh, ¿Cuál es el meaning all? No, ¿cuál es la diferencia de all time en all time? What is the uh, difference? The... I didn't get it. Can you repeat it? What is it? All time en all time. Okay, the whole time and all time, there is no difference. Or um, in this case, um, all the time. Tenemos que poner T-H-E, all the time. But there is no difference. You can use either or and it doesn't hurt. The meaning is the same. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Very good. Um, do you have any other questions, guys? No. Okay, so uh, can you provide examples using this structure with the definite adverbs? Yes, of course. Mm -hmm. Sandra? Okay. <laughs> yeah, let, let me think a little bit. Please. Yeah, you can think. You have time to think. When you're ready, okay. raise yeah. your hand or tell me. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, Everybody's thinking? Um, it's a kill, get up. Uh, Early every day. Excellent, excellent example. Well done. Okay. Now, teacher. Sandra. 
Yes. They got to practice tennis every month. Excellent. Well done. Any other example? I brush my teeth three times a day. a day. Excellent. Excellent. More example? I brush my hair three times a day. Excellent. Well done. I go to out from for of San Salvador every Monday. Excellent. Well done. I go to the dentist once a month. Perfect. Excellent. Any other? I cook the dinner every day. Perfect. May I? No, no. Adrian, please. Adrian? Okay. I study English every day at night. Perfect. Any other sample? Me, teacher. Mm -hmm. I, walk, I walk my dog every day in the morning. Excellent. Uh, Me, well teacher. Done. Okay. And she, studies, she studies English every day. Perfect. <laughs> May I teach it? Sure. Okay, I pay my membership at Price Mart once a year. Excellent, well done. Thank you. Me teacher. Mm -hmm. I buy bread every day. You buy? Bread. Pan. Bread, oh, nice and delicious. Sweet bread, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so with this, we finish, I think, the review for the frequency adverbs. Uh, remember to um, try to practice anytime that you can. Um, take advantage of, of every single chance that you get, and uh, in that way, you'll be getting more and more confident with this. So um, I'm going to check attendance and after we check attendance, I'm going to uh, go over the platform exercises. Did you get the number of the exercise? Tienen el número, el número del ejercicio? Eh, el 1-11, a mí me ha dado problemas, Chicha. El 1-11. I think I know which one is. El uno once. Okay, any other? I don't know, and I, I cannot enter at the platform right now. Um, so, oh, well, no worries. Maybe tomorrow. I will send it by, by the chat. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay, let's see. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's check. Uh, Adrián Ernesto. I'm here, teacher. Good. Ana Yancy. I'm here, teacher. Candida. Present, teacher. Cecilia. I'm here. Claudia. Claudia Patricia. Present teacher. Diego Arturo. Present teacher. Evelyn Elizabeth. Present. Evelyn Liliana. I'm here. Evelyn Mariela. Present. Ismael Eliseo. I'm here teacher. Jerry Alejandro. Present teacher. Joana Celina. Joana Celina. Joaquín Ruperto. Present teacher. Jonathan Isaac. Jonathan Isaac. Thank you. 
Jorge Alberto. Present. José Manuel. José Manuel. Present, teacher. Okay. Uh, Judith del Carmen. Present. Liliana Margarita. Present. María Susena. Present. Marjorie Vanessa. Present, teacher. Melida Rebeca. Melida Rebeca. Natalia Emperatriz. Present. Oscar René. Present. Peniel Arely. Here. Roberto Adonai. Present. Roberto Carlos. Present teacher. Romulo Edgardo. Romulo Edgardo. Ya estaba. Tenía problemas con el audio teacher, pero ahí estaba. Sí, me pareció que sí. Ok, thank you, Sandra. Here I am, teacher. Stephanie. Present. And Jessica Arely. Present, please. Okay, very good. Thank you for the ones. Gracias a todos. Son muy, um, ¿sí? The section two is, está dando problemas. 2.13. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going to check. All right. Estaba viendo, hay por aquí un par de personas que se han conectado a pesar de que están malitas de salud. <ríe> Gracias eh, por ser responsables. Eso pues va a tener su recompensa. Ya verán. Um, hay, va a haber alguna ocasión en que alguien tal vez tenga una emergencia o de verdad se sienta súper mal y no, no vaya a poder. Y también se entiende, ¿verdad? Pero estamos todavía con un poquito de fuerza, aunque sea para que estén oyendo, conecten, ¿verdad? Siempre. Mm, I don't know. Uh, can you see my screen? I, I, I didn't recall it for sure. <laughs> um, vamos a ver, quiero ver, quiero ver. All right, the first exercise you told me was the, yes? I had a question. Um... Rápidamente en español. Eh, eh, estas son. Eh, eh, estoy en la pantalla y hay como cinco semanas de ejercicio. ¿Los ejercicios hay que hacerlos diariamente o tiene una fecha específica donde se cierra eso? Tienen fecha de cierre. De hecho, qué bueno que lo menciona para hacer el recordatorio. Tienen que estar trabajando siempre los ejercicios de la plataforma. Está abierta 24-7. Mientras usted esté activo en el módulo, usted puede eh, hacer los ejercicios en el momento que tenga chance, si es a mediodía, sábado, domingo, el tiempo que necesite. Y acuérdense que a veces se queda ya como que si, igual si uno ha estado mucho tiempo en la plataforma empieza a dar un poco de más de problemas, entonces solo hagan clic aquí, refresquen o vuelvanse, sálganse y vuelvan a entrar, pero no hay límite. Okay. Eh, les recomiendo que vayan adelante hasta donde puedan. Adelántense hasta donde puedan con los ejercicios porque eh, eh, como vamos, eh, ya imagínense mañana terminamos la primera semana. Ya para la segunda semana Instafor ya está auditando, ya está revisando su avance con los ejercicios en la plataforma. Y si usted no ha avanzado, lo toman como, como abandono. Sí. Uh -huh. Teacher. Sí. Eh, relacionado a eso, ¿dónde los encuentro en, en, mi, en mi usuario? Los ejercicios, porque yo, yo ahora realicé un examen que creo que es intermedio, no sé. El, tienen que decir PI2, ustedes están sí. en el preintermedio 2. Sí, uh -huh. sí ya, ya, ya chequeé eso. ¿Dónde los encuentro los ejercicios? Porque 
imagino que todos los... Son estos. O sea, ah. usted solo se mete aquí. No sé si se fijó. Voy a empezar de, desde el uh -huh. principio, vean ellos. <risa> uh -huh. Quiero ver. Va, aquí estoy. Este es el módulo. Sí. Ok. Me meto acá. Le doy donde dice eh, este botoncito azul. Y luego aquí está el objetivo, este es el video que les pongo, otro objetivo, otro video, y estos que dicen noble check, usted da clic aquí y ahí le despliegue el ejercicio. Okay. Ahorita vamos a revisar este, por ejemplo, que es el que me están diciendo que les dio problemas. Sí. Eh, dos, no era la uno. No. Un compañero dijo que le había dado problemas sí, con... la 1.11 y la chica la no. 2.13. ¿No está quien dijo que le dio la, la 1.11? Eh, yo, teacher, a mí me dio problemas en la 1.11. ¿Cuál? Eh, todas, no me deja pasar cuando las he llenado y no me da el paso, todas me las pone malas. Eso sí está raro. Entonces, eh, en, en el grupo de WhatsApp sí estuvieron uh, poniendo las respuestas. Sí, es cierto. Uh -huh. Sí, estuvo. Tendría que, veamos, ok. Ya las tomó buenas. Tienen que estar escritas así como las mira acá. Si gusta, tómeles un screenshot y vuelva a intentar hacerlos. Solo para aclarar a algunos okay. compañeros de que creo que quizá algunos no están familiarizados con la plataforma. Sí. Eh, dejen solamente un espacio entre palabras porque si no se las va a tomar malas. Ajá. Y otra cosa importante que... Para que no les borre el progreso, tienen que darle clic donde dice enviar. Eh, ¿Se fijaron ahí el, el botoncito que le hice clic? Es este que dice enviar. ¿Mm? Para que ya les quede así. Eh, no debería de borrarle el progreso, ya tendría que quedar así hecho el ejercicio. Eh, si eso le está pasando y está siguiendo los pasos que le acabo de detallar, tendría que reportarlo con soporte técnico. Okay, uh, okay. And the other exercise was in section two you mentioned. The answer in the section two is the short answer. Because uh, in which one? Something. And Which of these? Two that four? 2.3. Uh, ¿Cuál? 2.3 este. 13. 13. I am checking the last one. The last one. Yes. Yeah. And the first one words is San Francisco. That is, that is, that is. Where yes, did yes. Barbara go? No, where Barbara did Jason go? Where, number one, where did Jason go? Jason, 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 San Francisco. This yes. Or he went to go in on location, maybe. Mm -hmm. And then the on that one, on that the, one, I just type San Francisco and went through. One is San Francisco. Two what is the one that is is giving you a problem? So number one. The number one. The number one is the tricky one. Number one. Yeah. San Francisco. It's that remember to use capital letters. A veces puede ser que no le puso mayúscula acá. But I did it 
you know, it says that we have to, to put a period. And I put uh, a period. That can be. <laughs> okay. My God. Okay, was that what the only one? Esa era la única que tenían problemas acá? O hay yeah, otra? That, that's the only one. For me, that was the only one. Mm -hmm. Al principio le dejo un espacio. A veces lo que tiene que hacer es que cuando le da error, borre todas las respuestas y vuelva a escribir. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the platform can be tricky sometimes. <laughs> so, oh, algunas veces le va a tocar borrar, salirse, volver a entrar, volverla a escribir. Y a veces por eso, porque no le ponen mayúscula y a veces, aunque vaya en mayúscula, no se la toma buena, sino la tiene que poner minúscula. Entonces, es de tener paciencia y tratar de todas las formas, ¿verdad? Yeah, I did. Okay. Thank you, teacher. Trate, trate otra vez mañana y, y si le sigue dando el problema, entonces lo, lo tendremos que reportar con soporte técnico. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Okay, so that's it for today. Thank you for being here and see you tomorrow. Okay. Good night. Bye, teacher. Bye.